What's up guys? So I thought I'd make a video to talk about the topic of moving in order to pursue a music career. And the reason why this is on my mind is because, excuse me, uh, because that is the topic uh, that my friend Demian Ariaga covered on his uh, first full episode of his brand new podcast called The Music Mentor Podcast. And I thought this would be a cool opportunity as someone who's moved across the country myself to pursue a music career to throw in my two cents and to introduce you guys to Demian and to his podcast. Demian is an excellent drummer and percussionist. He's originally from Venezuela uh, and he moved from Venezuela to Boston to go to Berkeley College of Music and then from Boston to uh, here in Los Angeles. And as a byproduct of making these bold moves, in combination of course with talent and hard work, he's been able to do what he loves to do in front of a lot of people at a high level. Uh, he's played for artists like uh, the Jonas Brothers and Richie Kotzen and Victoria Justice and Gary Sharon, to name a few. Demian is one of the most insightful musicians I know. Uh, he has a lot of experience and wisdom, uh, and uh, if you are a, uh, an aspiring musician who's looking for uh, some guidance, he is a great person to learn from. Uh, this is the kind of stuff that I wish I was, uh, you know, that I was listening to when I was, you know, 15 or 16 years old or, you know, all the way, I mean, you know, I... I get a lot out of it, uh, you know, to this day. He has a lot of great things to say. Uh, so I'm going to post a link to uh, his podcast below this video, um, and you're going to want to subscribe uh, for sure. So uh, anyhow, I thought I would uh, put my, uh, my two cents in here. <clears throat> um, I moved out here to Los Angeles from Rhode Island about 12 years ago, and uh, to this day, I count it as maybe the best decision I've ever made. I just, I absolutely love it here. I uh, I've loved it from the minute I got here, and I'm sure I will always love it. Um, I'm so glad that uh, that I that I did that I came out here. Um, and you know, Demian and I <clears throat> have had um, you know our own unique experiences. He's gone uh, further with his music career than I have. Um, so you're going to want to hear his perspective, um, but um, what I'm sure that we would both encourage you to do is, uh, is to be bold, to be brave. It is, it is not an easy thing to do, but uh, few people end up regretting it when they uh, make the decision to, to make a big move. If nothing else, you will have a more interesting life, I promise you. Uh, so <clears throat> anyhow, uh, as a starting point for talking about this kind of thing, we have to get into, first of all, why would you want to do this in the first place? What would possess you to uproot your entire life, move somewhere that's probably far away, where you probably don't know anyone in pursuit of an uncertain future? Uh, and I think there are a few good reasons. Um, I think, for one, there is no substitute for being in actual physical proximity to the people in the business that you want to be a part of. There's a lot you can accomplish online, but uh, really, just the way humans are wired, uh, in-person introductions are better than online introductions, um, and you just you find yourself in situations that you can't find yourself in online. You, know, you end up playing softball with, uh, you know, people, you know, record executives or rock stars and you end up going to parties and, uh, you know, I, I, one thing I never thought I'd ever do is, uh, film score just, you know, wasn't anything I aspired to do, uh, at all, but I just ended up, I was at a party one time and met someone who was doing sound for, uh, a film that needed a composer and, you know, one thing led to another and I ended up scoring a couple of movies. You know, strange uh, things like that. You just, you know, you don't know how it's going to happen, but if you're, actually around the people uh, that can make things happen, then um, you know you just have a much, much better chance of uh, making things happen. Uh, another really important factor is that uh, the standards are higher. What flies in a small town in Rhode Island doesn't fly 
in Nashville or New York or LA. And the sooner you calibrate to those higher standards, the better. That is a good long-term, um, you know, it, it works in your favor in the long term to be held to a higher standard. Um, it will make you a better musician. It will uh, just give you a much better opportunity to, um, you know, to get to a higher level if you're held to a higher standard. Um, <clears throat> another thing is you'll you'll find, you know, the, the when you go to a place where people are doing it, where people are making a living in music, you have the opportunity to learn from people who are, are doing it, You're not just, you know, I mean, you can, you can find good uh, mentors and good teachers in, uh, you, you know, probably just about any town or, or city, uh, but, uh, you know, it's just different when, you know, um, I, I took less guitar lessons out here from someone named Chris Broderick, and he had, you know, I, I could talk to him about things like, well, what's it like when your pedal board fries in front of 20,000 people? What do you do? You know, and just, you know, different kind of discussion, different, different level of discussion than someone who's just really good at playing guitar, who can teach you a lot of scales, but, uh, you know, hasn't really gotten out of their bedroom. Uh, so, um, you know, and, and just in general, being around when when you go somewhere where people move there in order to pursue something and that's you know, that's that's a common thing what ends up happening is that you are surrounded by a lot of people who are very ambitious and very motivated and are doing really interesting things and that's a really cool thing to me. That never gets old. I uh, I love being in that kind of an environment. I love being around uh, those kinds of people. Um, <clears throat> a couple more things I would say. You know, if you know, if I were to, to approach it from uh, the perspective of what I would say to myself when I was uh, younger, you know, 18, 19 years old, first thinking about moving. Um, I mean, you know, when I think back to what, what was going on in my head, it, it seemed very intimidating. Like the idea of moving to, uh, you know, I mean, I, I actually had in my head that it would make more sense to move somewhere um, that was a little less intimidating first and I would ultimately end up uh, out in L.A. And, uh, you know, if I could talk to myself at that point, I would say, you know, don't scrap all that. Just go. Just just go and uh you know, you're, it's never going to be, you know, you're never going to be totally ready. It is a leap of faith. Make no mistake about it. It is a leap of faith and you have to just go for it. You have to just uh, do it. Uh, the people, you know, I've had a number of people say to me that they want to, um, they want to move out here. And, uh, what happens is, you know, every time someone says, uh, well, you know, I'm going to move out there after I do this and this and have this much money in the bank. They don't make it. No, no one who has ever said that has made it. And there have been a bunch of them. Um, the one person who did actually and you know join me out here and is still out here is my best friend Adam, who's a sculptor, and uh, he didn't do a whole lot of planning. It was uh, it was done on pretty short notice, and uh, he didn't have a whole lot. Uh, like I didn't when I came out here, and uh, he just packed up his stuff and he came and figured it out, which is you know which is exactly what I did. Um, I mean, it's you will survive. It's not um, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. I mean, when I first got here, I knew absolutely no one, and uh, you know there were times when it was absolutely lonely, um, but you know I ended up getting a job at uh, Guitar Center. And, you know, and, and met a whole bunch of people through there and then, you know, started to kind of uh, build a circle and uh, everything got, you know, got a whole lot better. Um, so it's not, you know, it, you know, it, it won't always be easy, but if you want to do something bold, just do it and you will figure it out. You, you can't set up uh, all these conditions 
and uh, think that you're going to be totally ready when you get here. You're never going to be totally ready. It's always going to be a leap of faith. It's never going to be comfortable. So at some point, you just have to make the decision and do it. And, uh, you know, one, one other thing that I'll say, one, one, um, one last thing, uh, when you do decide to make a move like that, people around you will discourage you. Uh, it was kind of surprising to me what some of the people said to me when I said, I'm moving to LA. Uh, what people will give you is their rationalizations that they tell themselves as to why they don't pursue anything and why they stay where they are. Uh, and a lot of them will be very passionate about it. So expect that, uh, but don't listen to any of that. Uh, that's, you know, that's, that's their problem. It's not yours. Uh, so anyhow, um, if you're thinking about moving in order to pursue a music career, I mean, I, you know, you know, for me, I went down a different path ultimately. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, no doubt about it. I am, you know, I love it here. I'm so glad I made the decision to move. Um, and, uh, and I, I, you know, like I said before, if nothing else, I promise things will be more interesting if you make bold moves like this. Uh, so anyhow, uh, link below this video uh, will go to Demian's podcast. Uh, if you're watching this on the website itself, on the Intuitive Musician, uh, I think I'll be able to embed the podcast right there. So I'll do that uh, and you can listen there. All right, that's it for now. Cheers.